In this video, I'm gonna be answering some more frequently asked questions. Yeah, again, that's two videos on this subject in one week. And most importantly, I've got a solution for the missing um, page options where you know you set your slider and you can hide your page title, which I know a lot of you have been struggling with. So um, let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching. So yeah, as I said, this is another frequently asked questions uh, around the Amazon affiliate website that we created in a previous tutorial. If you've not seen that video, I'll put a card up on the screen now and you can go check that out. For those of you that have created a website using that tutorial, there may be a few problems that you're experiencing and that's what these videos are for, to try and help you out and get you up and running and all that sort of stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna be covering four things. The first one is that missing page options box where you need it to set your slider and hide your page title. The second one is to do with missing footers. A number of people have uh, sent me a message saying they can't see the footer on their website. So uh, I've got a solution for that. And the last two things are about adding your own products. So for example, you may want to mix up affiliate products and selling your own actual real products and also adding affiliate products from other companies. So uh, you wanna have a mix of Amazon products and also uh, products from other companies in which you're an affiliate. I'm gonna show you how to add those uh, in this video. So let's get on the computer and, uh, and go through all that stuff. Let's go. Okay, the first problem I'm gonna look at today is one that I've mentioned in my previous uh, FAQ, which is regarding the page options um, that you get, especially on the homepage, where you wanna pick your, um, your slider and also you might want to remove the page title. And a lot of people said they couldn't find it, and in fact, I couldn't find it um, on my test site, which is this one here, my WooZone. Just, it's just a test site, it's not really configured or anything. But yeah, on here, when I went in to edit the home page, or any page for that matter, and scrolled down once we get in, there was no um, page options type box, whereas on my Boot Boutique site, and let me just show you quickly, when I scrolled down, there was this uh, box here which allows you to set your slider and hide the title if you want to. And I searched high and low all around the site trying to find out what was going on. I mentioned in the previous FAQ you should check your screen options and tick this if you uh, if you haven't got it ticked already. But a lot of people were saying, uh, a bit like myself, that they couldn't even find it in the screen options. So AA team eventually did come back with a solution and it was actually quite straightforward uh, as these things often are. So um, let's go into this test site which doesn't have the box and I'll show you how to turn it on. You need to go into appearance and kingdom theme. And then into modules manager. And then in here you've got this thing here which if you haven't got the box it's probably deactivated so you need to click activate to turn it on. Then when you go into edit a page like the home page, for example, that box should hopefully be there, and it is. And obviously then you can select your revolution slider and you can hide the title, just like that. So hopefully we've got that resolved and hopefully that helps a few of you out that were really struggling to kind of find that option. Okay, the next uh, question problem I want to go through is regarding the footer. Again, it's just an options thing actually, it's nothing too serious. So for example, on this site, it's not showing um, any footer or the partner logos, although I don't think I've actually uploaded uh, on my Boot Boutique site. Uh, have we got it going on here? Yeah, we've got our partner logos and we've got the footer here. Uh, and a lot of people have said that they couldn't uh, find these at all, they weren't showing on their site. And if that's uh, what's happening to you, you can't see your partner logos or your footer, you need to go into Customize. Then into Footer Options, and you need to make sure that this is turned to Yes, because if you see if I turn it to No, we will lose the widget bit at the bottom. And you also need to make sure that your partner's module is turned on as well. Again, if that's set to no, you'll lose those logos. So if you've got a problem and you can't see your footer and you can't see your partner logos, come and check this out. It's probably that it's switched off within your customized options. So I hope that helped you out on that one. Okay, for the next thing, I'm going to um, show you how to add, first off, your own product. So I've had a few questions where people said, I want to set up a site. 
I wanna add Amazon products, but I wanna also include some of my own products, which is fine. To do that, you would go into up here, up to new and then new product. I don't have a product obviously as an example, so I'm just gonna add some example stuff, made up stuff, uh, own product. And then you add your description here. And then you obviously got your SEO stuff, um, if you've installed Yoast SEO. And then you've got your product data here. So if it's a simple product, you just simply add the price. Maybe it's uh, the regular price is 50, the sale price is 40. And that's pretty much it. Um, you're obviously gonna wanna add some images. You do that here by saying set product image. I'll just use any old image that I've got of a boot, I'd imagine. Yeah, that'll do. And then you'd obviously add it to a category too, like that. And it works basically just like any WooCommerce. I haven't got time to go through all of these options, but they're pretty self-explanatory. And I have got some other videos on my channel about um, setting up WooCommerce products and that sort of thing. If you're selling something which has got sizes and different colors, then you're gonna want a variable product and you wanna set some attributes and variations. Again, I've got a video on this, uh, which I will put a card up to now, so you can find out exactly how to set up products with sizes and colors. And let's leave it as a simple product for now and click publish. So when someone adds this uh, to their cart and checks out, it basically creates an order in the back end of the website and you will need to set up a payment gateway, maybe PayPal um, or whatever, Stripe, whatever you, you wanna use. Again, um, I've got some videos on this on my channel and I'll be adding more WooCommerce general sort of videos um, too. But there's plenty of resources online around WooCommerce and, and configuring this sort of stuff. So there we go, there's our own product and then if I add it to my cart, and let's uh, view our cart. There it is, very nice. And we can proceed to checkout. Aha. Oh, look, there's a problem. That place order thing is not in the right place. Okay, so <laughs> to get your checkout fixed, let me just do this now. You're gonna need a little bit of CSS which is fine, I'll, I will raise it with AA team, hopefully they'll fix it in the next release. It's just a little thing that they've forgotten, so I'm just gonna add a top, I think that'll do, like a 1400 pick, something like that. Oh, that's not quite far enough down the page. Let's put it up to 15, let's put it up to 16. 16 nearly, let's get rid of that. I will put this uh, CSS code on the blog post, which you'll find on wpeagle.com. As I've said before, I can't paste this sort of code into the description on YouTube. So look in the description of this video and you'll find a link through to the post on wpeagle.com where you'll find this code, which you can simply copy and paste. And you're gonna be copying and pasting it into Customize. Close that now. And additional CSS which I'm sure you've done before because there's a bit of additional CSS that we use within the main tutorials. And close that. Then hopefully if we go and just refresh this checkout. There we go, the button is in the right place. So easily fixed, not a problem. Um, yeah, so it works just like a normal e-commerce site now and I've got check payments turned on, which is good for testing, but obviously you can have PayPal. Very easy to set up, just do it, find it in the WooCommerce settings and um, check out and then you just add your PayPal email address and that should be fine. So there we go, order received, and then as I say, once you get orders for your own products, they will appear under WooCommerce and orders. There we go. One thing I haven't actually tested, which I'll test right now while I'm, while I'm recording, why not, is what would happen if I added that test product where I put it. Uh, where's it gone, let's do a search. Yeah, if I add my own product and an Amazon product, what will happen? So there's my own product. Then let's add an Amazon product, like this one. So let's just add this to my card, and go for a black and size three, that's fine. Add to cart. 
Okay, so if we look at the cart, we've got, let's say my own product and the Amazon product. Let's go to proceed to check out. Okay, it's gonna redirect me to Amazon. So that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. Um, if someone adds an Amazon and your and a own product, it's gonna just default by saying sending them off to Amazon. So I will ask AT if there is a solution to that, but for now, it might be useful. Hopefully, you know, it will work for some of you guys where you're promoting your own products. Um, but you might wanna wait on that until there is some sort of solution. Although I'm not quite sure how it would actually work. Um, but yeah, I'll ask them and we'll see what they say. So the final um, type of product that I'm gonna show you today is adding a, a different sort of affiliate product. So not an Amazon affiliate product. Maybe you've got some products that you wanna promote from other companies um, where you've signed up as an affiliate. So you would go to new product. I'll just call it uh, affiliate product. Now, if you do it this way, unfortunately, um, you can't actually use the cart system. It'll just send people straight off on your link, which is fine. And maybe that's a solution thinking about it for the, if you wanna use your own products as well, the Amazon products, maybe you should turn off the on-site cart. That might be a solution. But yeah, I'll have a think and obviously I'll talk about it in an, in an upcoming video, I'm sure. So yeah, you add your affiliate product, you add your blurb, um, add your image, much the same as uh, you, a normal product like I just showed you, add it to a category. But down here you select external affiliate product. And then in here you can add a URL, which will be the URL that you get from whoever you're promoting. So you log into your affiliate dashboard, generate a URL and paste it in there. So for example, I've got affiliate URLs. Uh, one of them is wpeagle.com kingdom, which is hopefully the, the link you followed to purchase the theme. You can change what the button says, so you could by default it would be by product, but you might have by theme, by boot, by this, whatever, few more, whatever you like. Uh, add the price, I can't remember the price on my head, 60, that'll do. And then publish. And then if we view that product, here it is. That needs a little bit of CSS to adjust that and make that look better, I think. So I will add this code to the um, blog post along with the other stuff. Let's um, add a bit of margin at the top. Like that. Obviously again, copy and paste into um, customize and just open that in a new tab because I don't want to lose this page right now. Just like that, save and publish. Okay, if I refresh this, hopefully it'll look a bit better. There we go. And then yeah, so when someone clicks on this button, sends them off on your affiliate link. Ta -da! And then obviously when they purchase, you get your commission and all that sort of business. Okay, so that's the end of this video. I hope you found that useful. Please, if you did, I'd love it if you could click the like button. If you've got any more questions uh, around, well, anything to do with WordPress, I'm happy to answer them. Please leave them in the comments below. As always, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe by clicking on the little eagle there, and you'll also be the first then to know when I do an upload. And here is a video, just here, that I've specially selected just for you that I think you're gonna enjoy. So if you wanna go and watch that, give it a little click. And uh, I hope you like it. But until next time, that's bye for now.